what's up y'all yeah so anybody who's uh, subscribed to my channel or who watched my video the other day well yesterday I think it was yesterday I uploaded a video where uh, you know J. Cole and Drake were getting pretty much people were beefing with the uh, they had a well Cole had an autism line and you know people there was an online group and people really wasn't rocking with it he actually wrote an apology letter you know what I'm saying for his uh, his retard line like I said in a previous video um Lil Wayne you know his Emmett Till line he lost an endorsement Rick Ross his date rate reference he lost endorsements and uh, J. Cole he did his line about autism and all that all that stuff and pretty much what Cole did, he took to Twitter and he tweeted, he actually tweeted, he said, I said something in the rap that was offensive to those who, uh, to those with autism, feel terrible, a tweeted apology wouldn't do, he gave you a link. And pretty much, he, it's like a letter, you know what I'm saying, I'm a, the link's in the script, you want to read the whole letter, but I'm just going to go over some little parts. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, he said something very... He said something that uh that caught my attention. Okay, yeah. He said uh <clears throat> he said he he's views rap similar to how he uh, he views comedy. He said it's going to ruffle feathers at time. It's going to go too far. He said I do not believe that an apology is needed every time someone is offended, especially when the apology is really only for the sake of saving an endorsement. A cleaning up bad press but he said with that being said this is not that case this letter is sincere this um, apology is necessary <clears throat> so uh you know to me it seems like he's sincere and it can't be over endorsements because Cole ain't got no endorsements anyway that I know of so you know it's, it's sincere or whatnot and I don't think he took it <clears throat> like I said I don't think he took it Asked that I don't think he wrote that line like oh yeah I'm a, all the kids with autism you know they gone <clears throat> yeah this line dedicated to them I don't think he meant to do that or say that you know what I'm saying like I said when writing stuff just comes out I guess people really gotta watch what they say because people really taking stuff like like real real you know real serious man <clears throat> and the thing is I think I I, I could have swore I heard that line before or close to it and nobody is you know really said anything about it I still think it's because you know only the big stars because they're targets or whatnot but it's like at what point like okay if like it's not a I'm not saying it's a good line at all because anybody with autism if I had it I probably would feel some type of way about it but at the end of the day it's also um, music and I know and music is powerful I'm not gonna lie the words are powerful so I can I can see where, where people are coming from who, who took offense of it and but at, again like I said uh, a girl she actually commented on that video and she said her brother has that and she said she was offended and that's why she doesn't listen to rap because people something about hold up she said uh, I don't want to mix her words up she said uh, those lyrics were um, yeah, yeah 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 it was basically word play and the use of a met no, no I'm sorry she said I'm sorry but I disagree those lyrics are highly offensive I have a brother who um, who's autistic uh, this is 2013 and we're still using uh, retarded jokes step your game up the artist might claim is being uh, just creative license which I'm not buying but 13 year old quote in the lyrics to bullying an autistic kid is not this is why I don't listen to rap um, our artists take no responsibility um, to her, uh, Nikisha, I hope she's watching this. He actually apologized, so I guess you can say he did take actions because he's seen the response he was getting. But at the end of the day, I'm sure 
you like stand up comedy and all that and you know what I'm saying I'm sure they said something about somebody like if I feel like if people really gonna take stuff like that serious you can't just knock like artists you have to knock comedians you know they they'll use you know just talking about people it's, it's gonna get to a point where people's gonna you know talk about everything you know what I'm saying like anything you say is gonna get that like you people are really gonna have to start watching what they say you see what I'm saying and I understand she she was like the 13 year old quote into bully a kid I don't think a kid's gonna like that don't seem like like a kid's gonna see an autistic kid and, and just like quote that line and say it to him like that at least I would hope now I could be wrong but at the end of the day like I said this is entertainment and some stuff shouldn't be said but if that's the case you're gonna have to knock every every all the entertainment because what about it's so much stuff man it's so it's, it's so so much stuff what about rest in peace Bernie Mac stand up when he said his his nephew whoever was retarded or whatnot it's like going to get some milk and cookies and all that stuff making fun of you know what I'm saying just just it's, it's like I said if if it's comedy what about the comedy jokes like that making fun of race making fun of all of this th movies and stuff you know what I'm saying showing guns like and people getting shot video games showing violence like if that's the case you're going to deny everybody and not just music man not just music you can't because I'm a big fan of me I love music you feel me and it's like I know real from fake that's what I'm trying to get maybe in the kids like I can understand like if a little kid heard that and his and he felt his feelings were hurt or something like that I can understand that but you you know I feel I just feel like everything shouldn't get criticized not everything and if that's the case you got the the TV shows everything but I don't talk too long that's seven minutes um he apologized for the line so now I feel like it's just time to, to let it go. That's what the um people who did the, you know, the little online thing, the petition, they wanted an apology. He did a, he wrote the apology and everything. And he, he seems very sincere. Because again, I don't think Cole has any endorsements like that. So he's not losing nothing. It's just he's seen the response and stuff like that. But like he said, you shouldn't have to apologize for everything that made people mad. Not everything. You feel what I'm saying? But that's eight minutes, my bad. With that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think. I talked a little too long. But you know, I can see I can see I can see the apology. The apology was well needed. Cause it hurt a lot of people. But at the same time, it's freedom of speech. So with that being said, comment. Let me know how you feel about that. I appreciate the view. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe.